Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. 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 Good everybody this morning. Good morning, sir. Good great. Awesome. 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 Welcome to 108 days. Today we are completing 108 days. <laughs> 108 days has something very special, I'm sure. Yes, we will throw some light on it yes, today. <laughs> Good morning, sir. So I'm sure he'll throw some light on that. Are you all ready for the rituals? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so everybody gently close your eyes and bring yourself into the present moment. By simply focusing on your breathing and becoming completely aware of your breath. A few deep, long breaths. Inhale completely. And exhale completely. Try to make your exhalations longer than your inhalation. And as you become completely aware of your breath, you bring your mind into the present moment. Take a moment to become completely aware of what is going on around you. Bring all your attention to the sense of hearing what can you listen to right now. Okay, now move your awareness to the sense of touch. Where are your hands right now? Where are your legs touching the feet, the ground? How are you feeling where the air touches the skin? Just pay attention to everything that's going on inside your body. As you notice all this, you understand that experiencing the feeling of the presence of source, everything. महसूस करेंगे कि परमात्मा की शक्ति हर चीज के अंदर है। You can feel a sense of interconnectedness. Everything is interconnected. Now that you are in the present moment. Slowly bring yourself, open your eyes, and let's do a little bit of tapping first. Tap on the karate chop point for 35 times.
today we're going to tap on goals. Okay, pick up your top three goals. Okay, what are your top three goals? It could be goals connected with your health. It could be your goals connected with your relationships or something connected with business, money. So, thoda sa soche ke jab wo goals achieve karne ki koshis karte to is there something coming in the way? Maybe there are some obstacles, maybe there are some roadblocks, something is stopping you from achieving the goals. Think about all possible obstacles and tap on those obstacles. For example, you want to increase your sales, but somehow the marketing team, your sales is not functioning properly. You're not able to get the leads. Or the market situation is not good. So, sare reasons ke upar tap kare. Why do you think your goal is not there? And when you think of any reason, check the feeling. What are you feeling? Is there hopelessness? Is there irritation? Is there anger? What is going on? Sometimes lack of patience. Pick up only your top three. And if everything is going fine, then you don't need to worry, just do positive. What is stopping you from achieving your goals? It could be sometimes even internal things, laziness, procrastination, some sort of stress in the mind, negativity in the mind, or it could be something which is outside you. Remember, you can achieve your goals only when you believe in your goals 100. And if there are a lot of reasons in your mind, then your belief starts. We want to make that we have 100% belief in all our goals. Release all the negativity connected with the reasons. Remember, it is never something outside that can stop people. It's always something inside us that stops us from our goals. If the world of the human being can stop the human being, then the human being will not be able to do the human being.
is why Napoleon Hill said, whatever the human mind can conceive and leave, it can achieve. जब तक माइंड में फोकस भरे हुए तब तक बोल अच्छे रिलीज ऑल दी ऑल Two more rounds. Tap on all possible reasons why you feel the goal cannot be. मेरे पास resources नहीं है, capital नहीं है, लोग ठीक काम नहीं करते, अच्छे लोग मिलते नहीं हैं, market की situation खराब है, competition खराब है. What are your reasons? Tap on all the reasons. Remember that every reason you have is creating doubt, and doubt is the enemy of goal achievement. Doubts will stop you from taking action. Doubts will attract wrong things. All this happens when we don't. Let's take one last round. More you tap on the reasons, the more you will start believing. No goal. The magic of the universe unfolds when you believe in your goals one hundred.
Okay, let's take three deep breaths and just let go of all those possible reasons why you, whatever is stopping your mind from achieving the goal 100%. Okay, let's take three deep breaths. Eyes closed for a few moments. Now, if you pay attention to your goal, you will see that your belief for the goal will increase as you release all the obstacles from the mind. Wonderful. Slowly open your eyes, have some water, for us a pani pili ji. In goal achievement, the most important thing is you believe it. Is jabab zameen mein beech ko bolte ho, when you put a seed in the ground, is there any doubt whether it will happen or not? As long as you take your necessary actions, as long as you do what is supposed to be done, it has to manifest. There is no option. But if you put the seed in the ground, then you start doubting. Then two things will happen. Either you will stop watering because you don't believe in it, or you will dig the ground to check what's going on. In both the cases, the seed will get destroyed. So, while thinking of your goal is important, focusing on your goal is very important. Most thing, most important thing in goals is believing, yes, it, it is almost that level of belief that when you get up in the morning, the sun will rise along with for you. It will rise. There is no doubt in the morning that the sun will rise. There is never a doubt. Do you doubt? That level of faith. This applies for all your goals. Whether it's a health goal, coming out of any disease, whether it's a relationship goal, improving any relationship or creating a new relationship. Whether it's a business goal, money goal, any goal. That is why it is said, faith can move mountains. That is why it is said. Faith means there is not even 0.01% down. Absolute faith in the universe. Absolute faith in God. Absolute faith in yourself. Yes. Now the next step. Let's be grateful. Assume that today is the 31st of December 2023. And you're just reviewing your goal situation. And you notice that yeah, sare goal ho gaye. <laughs> Imagine fancy. Whatever you have thought, all your goals are done. What will you feel? You'll be grateful to God, no? So write down that I am. Thank you so much, God, that this goal is achieved. This goal is achieved. This goal is achieved. Thank you thank you. Be grateful in advance to God for all your goals. Every single goal that you have kept in your mind is achieved.
Let's take one more minute. And after you finish, just gently close your eyes and just be deeply grateful to God that all your dreams have been accomplished. Every single goal that you had set is completed. And you're so grateful to God for his blessing. Let's be very, very deeply grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God, for helping me achieve all my goals. Now let's take a moment to seek forgiveness from God, dear God. If I have hurt anybody, knowingly, unknowingly, directly, indirectly, in this life or any of my previous lives, through my thoughts, through my words, through my deeds, if I have hurt anybody, I seek forgiveness from the bottom of my heart. Please forgive me and release me from those karmas. Thank you, thank you. God is very kind. They will request the creator to download the true meaning of forgiveness. What does forgiveness mean? How to forgive? How to let go? What is the true meaning of forgiveness from the creator's perspective? When to forgive? So we'll download all those definitions. Can I do that for all of you? Thank you. Creator of all that is... It is requested that the true definition of forgiveness from the creator's perspective, Paramatma ke angle se forgiveness ka meaning kya hai? How to forgive? When to forgive? How to make forgiveness the daily part of our life? How to understand the definition of forgiveness from the creator's perspective? That all of this is downloaded from the seventh plane and instilled at all cell levels and all belief levels for all the participants of this workshop in the highest and the best way. Thank you. It is done. It is done. Please show me.
witnessing the energy of all the programs which I mentioned right now, all the feelings and programs. This is being downloaded in the form of a beautiful divine light falling on all of us like a beautiful waterfall. Entering the body from the crown chakra, filling up all the 50 plus trillion cells of the body with the true meaning of forgiveness. And the knowingness of how to forgive, when to forgive. What it feels like to forgive and seek forgiveness. What it feels like to be completely free from the past. That all these programs are now instilled at all cell levels and all belief levels. Thank you. It is done. It is done. Also requesting the creator to send unconditional love through every single cell of all the participants of this workshop and their family members. And this be done in the highest and the best way. Do what is done, it is done, it is done. Okay, show me. Witnessing the beautiful unconditional love of the creator. Coming directly from the creator, from the source. Pulling on all of us like a beautiful waterfall. Not only us, but also our family. And all the people in the global healing list. That this unconditional love is flowing through every single cell of the body, healing us at all levels, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. And passing through all the cells, all the 50 trillion cells, and also all the belief levels. Thank you. I'm not standard. So let us be in meditation for a few minutes that we can deeply connect with the intelligence. Can I request the creator to create complete silence in your mind for the next three minutes? If you wish to do that, say yes. Thank you. Creator of all that is. It is requested that complete silence be created in the minds of all those people who just said yes. And this be done in the highest and the best way. Thank you. It's done. It's done. Please show me.
now that we are deeply connected with the creator, we will request the creator to help you manifest your vision and your goal. Can I do that for all of you? Just need to say yes in your mind. Creator of all that is, it is requested that all the visions and goals, all the participants in this workshop who just said yes, be manifested in their life now in the highest and the best way. Thank you. It is done. It's done. It is done. Now please show me. Take the next couple of minutes to witness your life exactly the way you want. I will not speak anything. But please visualize your life the way you want it. Your health, relationships, work, your money, all the areas one by And remember, feel it. Feelings are very important. Remember, while visualizing, you should also affirm that, wow, this is my job. Thank you, God, that this has been done. With visualization, ke time mein usko affirmations ke combine kariye so that your feeling is stronger. Let's take uh, one more minute. Wonderful. Take a moment to notice that you have been able to accomplish all your goals. We are so grateful to God. 
all your health, all your relationships, work-related goals, money goals, and you becoming the person that you always wanted to become. Sare sapne pure ho chuke hain. You are so grateful to God that He has helped you create all this in your life. Thank you, thank you. We know that the infinite intelligence has no limitations. The only limitations exist in our mind. Over else. Thank you, God, for becoming, helping me explore my highest potential. And now let us pray for a moment for all the souls who are right now going through certain challenges, problems. So dear God, please help those people who are in need right now. Send your healing energy to all those people in my family, relatives, friends, own people, 5am club members, global healing list. Please send your healing energies and your unconditional love to all these people. And visualize a beautiful unconditional love and divine healing light coming from the Creator, falling on all these people like a beautiful waterfall. And visualize in your mind that their pain is getting relieved, their problems are getting solved. And then every day they're getting better and better. Also pray for those who are not known to us. Requesting the Creator to send healing energy and your unconditional love to all the living beings on the planet who need help right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Visualize this beautiful healing energy is falling on the entire planet Earth, covering all the 7.3 billion people and all the living beings receiving this beautiful energy from the creator. Visualize that everybody is like experiencing the waterfall and that all of them got healed. Also send out your unconditional love to your family, your colleagues in the office, your entire city, your state, your country, continent, and the entire world. Visualize that your beautiful unconditional love is flowing from the center of your heart, from your chest, from your heart center. And this is flowing out into the entire universe, the entire planet Earth, even beyond that. Thank you, thank you, God, for healing the entire planet. I'm going to do a download today. I'm filled with gratitude and happiness. Can I download this for you? This program will be downloaded at all cell levels and all very good. Okay, thank you. Creator of all that is. It is requested to download the program. I'm filled with gratitude and happiness in every single moment of my life. And this program be downloaded from the seventh plane and be instilled at all cell levels and all belief levels for all the participants of this workshop and that this be done in the highest way. Thank you. It is done. It is done. It is done. Please show me. Witnessing the energy of this program coming from the seventh plane, falling on all of us like a beautiful waterfall. 
this program is now instilled at every single cell level, all the 50 plus trillion cells, filled with the program that I am filled with gratitude and happiness in every moment. Also passing through all the belief. Uh, every single cell of your body knows how to feel gratitude, how to feel happiness in every moment. Now let us request the creator to create a shield for us. Visualize yourself and say the word shield with an intention. Visualize a beautiful shield around you. Visualize your loved ones and say the word shield. See that there's a shield around every single person in your family. And now hold an intention of all your valuables. Important to you. Say the word she. And in your mind, hold the affirmation I'm safe and divinely protected. My family is always safe, divinely protected. All the things that are important to me are always safe and divinely. Thank you. Thank you. Now bring yourself back into the present moment. Today we are on the 1st of April. 2023, beginning of a new financial year. Keeping a vision for the current financial year, what is it that you wish to accomplish? Come to the present moment. Notice what's going on around you, inside you. Where is your body touching the chair? Notice the gentle moments of your abdomen. Notice 150 people right now doing their rituals in a beautiful virtue, very divine and a powerful virtual room. And once you're completely aware of the present moments, just rub your hand. Place them on your eyes. And when you're ready, you may slowly take your palms away from your eyes. Opening your eyes with a blink and with a smile on your face. Look into the palms and make a wish for you. Thank you and namaste to each one of you. And now take your mirror, look into your mirror. Love yourself unconditionally. Remember that when you truly love yourself, you can accept the love from others. We'll see that people around you will also love you. When you appreciate yourself, you will see that even others will appreciate you. Your relationship with yourself is what you will see. The outside relationships are a reflection of your relationship. So look into your eyes and tell yourself that I love you. I really, really love you.
love and accept you just the way you are. Thing needs to love you. I really, really feel the unconditional love for yourself. Feel the unconditional love for all the people you. Now put your fist out in the air and say yes. Something amazing is about to happen. I don't know what. Something historical is going to happen to me. Why it is historical? Because today's date is never going to come back again anyway. So it is historical, right? <laughs> so make the best of this moment. Make the best of this day. Because it's never going to come back anyways. So why not make the best of it? Why not create history? Do your best. Make the best use of this beautiful day. And put it out again and say yes. Okay, give a nice hug to yourself. Nice hug to all your family members. Give a pat on your back. Good job done. <laughs> Give a nice pat on your back. Very good. So what's the learning for today? The learning for today is to develop the virtue of patience. When we are working on our goals, the one quality which is extremely important is the virtue of patience. You cannot expect results to happen overnight. Cannot put a seed in the ground and expect that it will come out tomorrow. But the thing about patience, the definition of patience is patience is not the ability to wait, but the ability to keep a good attitude while waiting. wait karna patience Having this faith and trust that it will happen, So, as long as you to be patient Making sure that your state of mind is good while you are working on your goals. Knowing that something is happening. Like when you put the seed in the ground and you are watering it, you know that the, the, the seed is germinating and the roots are happening. So let's look at a beautiful video today to explain this concept.
what this means is that uh, the man was working hard. I mean, what, what the example is that the Chinese bamboo tree put the seed in the ground and you water it. One year, nothing happens. Now imagine one year has gone by. So the person who is watering will obviously lose faith. But the person keeps watering day, year two, year three, year four, and year five. Till five years, nothing happens. Imagine. Then after the fifth year, all of a sudden, the bamboo tree grows up 90 feet tall in only six weeks. So what needs to be understood is that while we feel that nothing is happening, we're taking actions and nothing is happening. There is always something that is happening which is beyond our understanding. We cannot see it. We cannot understand it. But when we take our actions, something is happening. Knowing at the back of your mind that there is something going on. There is a master plan which is in action which is beyond our understanding. But when you are doing your work, then that is what There is no option. That is patience. That is faith. That you will accomplish your goal. Developing that level of patience and faith is what great brings great results. So, we have a bamboo Like, suppose we are working on a 5 a.m. club right now, right? We want more and more people to join, and we are seeing the numbers are not increasing. <laughs> so, if we lose patience, what's going to happen? It will just collapse. We, we just cannot afford to lose patience. To keep on persisting, knowing that something is happening. Knowing that somewhere, somewhere it is happening, it is moving, people are sharing with one another. And I get to understand so many beautiful stories every day. You know, whenever I meet somebody, they say, I talk about IBM Club to other people. I tell them, I teach them EFT, I do this, I do that. So, kitni sari chije ho rahe jo hume pata bhi nahi hota. All those negativity will enter the mind. So we want to make sure that you have complete patience while you are doing your work, knowing that the goodness is already happening. Okay, so I hope you understand what the meaning of all of this is. Just wanted to remind all of you once again we are starting our third batch of 30-day Mind Mastery program. It is a very powerful program to help you create massive success. Whatever we learned in the weekend batch, last weekend, we're going to spread it over 30 days and we're going to take one one concept every day and we're going to apply it every day. 30-day program, a lot of you have already attended. If you don't know, attend, don't miss this opportunity. It happens only once in three, four months. The dates are April 3rd to May 2nd. The time is going to be, will actually be 6.15 to 7.15 because of a 5 a.m. Format is going to be, it is going to be live. Today in the Mind Master, in the Miracle Morning program, we will announce a very special offers, which we will also send it to you on the 5 a.m. group, okay? If anybody wants to register, today is the best day to register. You can always reach out to Shaista for more details. Okay. Please reach out to my team members. If you do it, I will give you a lot of messages. Very difficult to get back in. Wonderful. So what's your challenge for the day? Challenge is to develop, start developing the virtue of patience, knowing that every action you are taking, making a difference. Only thing is you cannot see that growth that is happening. Be patient, keep on keeping on, and you will achieve all your goals. So with those few words, I'd like to end the session today. Uh, let's say goodbyes to one another. Let's unmute everybody. Just on. Thank, thank you, you so much, thank everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू गॉड ब्लेस बाय बाय थैंक यू सर 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 थैंक